hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about throttle calibration on the fbw a320 now i've seen that whenever there is a major update on this add-on or i don't know even if there is a sim update or something it just messes up the whole uh, throttle calibration now needless to say if you uh, like the content on this channel please make sure you like the video it supports the channel more than you think make sure you subscribe for more of these videos now uh, let's just get to the content this is what you'll see when you first open a newly updated fly-by-wire a320 so i just have the fly pad on i don't have the aircraft on right now so even when my throttle position is at idle right now which you will see on the screen right now my um, throttle levers are actually on full reverse which is not what I would want, right? And when I change my throttle to the max position, the throttle levers are now at 100%, which is fine. But when when my throttle quadrant is set to 0%, it should be locked here at 0% um, throttle, which is the idle position, not the full reverse position, right? Now, how to fix this? So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to control options and uh, I have the T-Flight HOTAS X. You go to power management and throttle. Now make sure that you only have throttle one and throttle two axis set to your uh, um, throttle lever on your joystick or on your quadrant. Make sure you only have these two set. Now I have it set to only one axis, which is, uh, which is my quadrant, like the throttle lever axis but if you have like separate levers for engine one and engine two you can uh, you can have separate axis for both of those and make sure you have the reverse axis ticked here and another setting that you need to uh, make sure that you have is whole throttle reverse thrust i have set this to the eight button eight which is right here on my joystick after you're done setting these three make sure that you delete anything under the throttle setting that you would have set up. You can delete everything else except these three settings. This is all you need to set up the throttle correctly. Now, you can go back into the system. So next, what you need to do is come to this page on the fly pad, which is under settings and under sim options and click on calibrate besides throttle detents. And you'll be on this page and this will be your default setting. So once you're done with the control options, disable the reverser on axis so that these two get grayed out, the reverse idle and reverse full. And now what we will do is, um, since I have my throttle quadrant or the joystick throttle lever set to 0%, I want to set that to idle. So I'll click on set from throttle. Both of these kind of settings would go to 0%, which means now it thinks that whatever the current throttle position is, is being identified as the idle position once you're done with that hit apply and save and apply i don't know i just hit both of them and then when you come back to the throttle quadrant and if you try to go full throttle and then come back down to zero percent throttle it will lock down at zero so now it knows where to match the zero percent position on the in sim throttle to the zero percent position on my joystick throttle level so i hope that was clear enough um, if you have any questions or if you're facing any problems with this please please make sure that you leave a comment i will help you as soon as possible with anything that you need help on now once that is done i can calibrate the climb and toga as well so i will bring my throttle lever on my joystick to half position and then hit climb now it already falls within this band here so i think i'm already calibrated and good but i will still hit set from throttle so that it calibrates it properly and then again save and apply then i'll go to full throttle and then hit toga again this is good but just for the sake of it set from throttle and then save and apply so now on my throttle quadrant it knows where the climb position is it knows where the idle position is and it knows exactly where the toga is or the takeoff go around position is 
let's check it out one more time here so half throttle goes to climb full throttle goes to toga now i have set half throttle to climb because i have a kind of a snap lock on my joystick throttle and it's just easier to bring it to that point when i'm flying now if you have a joystick which has two axes as in you have engine one and engine two there are two throttle levers on your on your joystick then you can click on independent axis and do the same thing for both of these right you can it's the exact same method but now you, you'll have to do it for both of them you can do it together or you can do it individually doesn't matter but since i have only one uh, throttle quadrant for both the engines or one throttle lever for both the engines i'm going to disable independent axis now about the reversers now since i have button 8 um, calibrated as the reverser all i need to do to enable reverser is to press button 8 and then go from 0 to 100 percent throttle and that will put me on full reversers so it becomes really easy for me when i land all i have to do is bring the engine to idle hit 8 and then and then push on the throttle again um, to the full position so i'll show you again going back zero percent hitting eight hitting the eight button on my throttle lever and then pushing it all the way forward that will get me to full reversers and then when i want to disable the reversers i keep pressing on the eight button and bring it back to the idle position and it snaps right back to idle so this is the setup that i have on my um, t flight hotas x let me know if you face any issues like i said in the comment section i will try to help you as soon as possible thank you all for all the love and support on the previous videos and uh, i will keep coming up with these kind of helpful videos i have also bought the boeing 247d and i'm trying to learn that aircraft right now but expect to have those videos coming out soon as well all right thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for watching and i am going to see you on the next video